Good news from across the stream, everyone. What stream, DDM? What are you talking about? I don't know. I didn't think that far ahead. I hope you wouldn't ask. Just any stream. Take your pick. Not that one. That one's mine. Um, we're um, playing Resident Evil Dead Aim. Now, why you picked this game, DDM? Why have you picked this game? Right, I just want to tell you a story, okay? I picked up this game one day when I was ill, alright? I felt bad. I thought I'd just try it. I wasn't expecting much. My expectations were down on the ground. And this game, it surprised me. It, it wasn't just good. It was like the best Resident Evil game I've ever played. Isn't this funky music for a Resident Evil intro? Isn't this the kind of song you expect in a horror game? Yeah, it is! Are you scared right now? I am too. <laughs> Look at his face! Oh, We're in for a fun two hours. Now, I've only ever beaten this game once. Um, once before. That not that just a lovely face? Hello, DDM! Are you going to Let's Play Me? Well, yes, I am, disembodied face. Let's go. Normal difficulty, because I'm just your normal, everyday guy. They put a, a really kind of philosophical quote there that makes no sense, but don't don't let that alarm you. This game, it, this sums it up. This game makes no sense. Oh, oh my God! Have you heard that music? See, I played this once and it just exceeded my expectations in every way. This is it. Look at this. I'm going to take you on a journey through this game, and it's going to be a great one. So hang on tight because you probably never played this, and you need to see this game. Look! Look! Look what's happening! Look! Just examine what's happening before your eyes. There is text on screen scrolling past that someone is narrating, which is unnecessary in the first place. And then there's subtitles for the person narrating that is different to the text on screen. It's crazy. It's like someone put this through a thesaurus or something, or Google translated the subtitles. This just emphasizes to me that this game was never playtested, ever. That these subtitles are wrong. Resident Evil. Look at that water. That's fucking scary water right there. I'm so scared right now. Dead aim. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this game, I love it. Oh. And that's us for the next two hours. I know I felt awkward too, but you get used to his body pretty fast. The controls don't Why help, but you know. Look at that! That's a man! Okay, it just take it. It is a man. It gets even worse later, believe me. But that guy, Morpheus, he's a dude. I don't know what's up with his hair. Why it's so anime-esque. Is he just trying to be the next... <laughs> Look at that face! That's such a woman's face. Oh, and he just whacked me on the back and I didn't enjoy it. If you don't know what's going on right now, then join the club. That's everyone who plays this game. What do you plan to do with the T-Virus? I'm afraid that's all. Oh, the subtitles got it right then. Now. <laughs> you die now! What a clever, witty pun thing that he just said. Oh, he's gonna pull the trigger! <gasps> grenade! Oh my god, no! You're throwing a grenade on a boat. Think about what you're doing. I don't think you're meant to do that, I think. <laughs> I think the boat is screwed if you do that. So this game isn't considered canon, really. It's because this whole game is just an isolated incident. Look at this! The fucking boat would sink! But no, no, Resident Evil Dead Aim doesn't abide by the laws of physics. It doesn't abide. It should be a bad game, but it isn't. That It just breaks reality. And there's the main villain of the game. Doesn't he look threatening, stumbling off the boat like a drunk into that pit of fire? Get our gun, which was lying on the desk, you know, because, because we like to keep our guns in an orderly position. Alright, so this is Resident Evil Dead Aim. This will be us for the next... I don't know what's going on there, there's like a little cord. Huh? <laughs> and then, meanwhile, I jump down a vent from somewhere, who knows? And then the game begins! And this is it! This is Resident Evil Dead Aim. Look at this frightening corridor with no music. Oh, it has got music. It's got very, very quiet music. Prepare yourself! The, these terrorists that hijacked this cruise ship, they hijacked the most boring cruise ship in the world. <laughs> That's what they said when they rung up. We've got it! The most boring cruise ship in the world! You better be ready. Because it is! It just is! Every room looks the same! And there's nothing apparently interesting about it. Look at these beds. Are you frightened right now? I think you're going to have to hold me. <laughs> no, back off. I was kidding. You don't really need to hold me. Get off me. Um, 
He cannot open the door. I don't know why, but you just can't. He doesn't want to. Alright. So, are you already really excited about this game? Because I am. I've been waiting to let's play this for ages, but my PS2 is finally repaired. So I can do it. Look at all these dead people! I wonder what's going to happen in this room when I leave and come back. Will they be standing up? No, no, this, this doesn't have zombies in it. Don't be silly. That would be a good game. It's like they just had a sudden heart attack or something. They don't look like they were in a rush to get anywhere. I don't know. Alright. There actually are a few good scares in this game. Like this woman here. Look at that. Oh, you can't write. You can't because he can't look up. He's like a fucking pig or whatever. He can't look up. Uh, Bruce McGiven's just too negative for that kind of thing. Oh, thank God. You are going to need a map for this place. He's still holding something. Okay, we got the key. More good news. It just keeps on coming. How do you bring up the map? R2. Select. It's usually select. All right, here we are. So this is the map. And you'll notice that they don't really indicate anything on this thing. I know, right? It, it's so annoying. <laughs> it's so hard to navigate this place. But, all right, we're there. That green arrow. Let's say, you know, you go save and then you want to get back to a save room. Oh, it's not marked on the map. That would be silly, right? Oh, my God, a zombie. The first zombie of the game. Now, shooting in this game is, is just... All right, you hold R2. You hold L2 and R1. And then you press R1. And, and then you shoot. Oh! The way they bob makes it really hard to hit them. All right, but th that that's the basic combat down. All right. At this point in the game, I think my thought process was when I beaten this the first time, it was like, okay, this game doesn't look very interesting, but boy, it just gets better. All right. Who said that? Look, they're the least threatening zombies in the world. Oh God, there's blood coming from this door. Shit's getting serious. Is this where I came from, actually? Um, I'm getting lost already. Yeah, I think I came this way, didn't I? Yeah, 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 I got... Do you remember I got handgun bullets off that bed? That was a good day for Bruce McGiven. Bruce McGiven! Bruce Matilda! He, he, he's just got such a cliche name, I love it. Alright. It's kind of dark in here, hard for me to see. There were just some handgun bullets lying at the end of this corridor. I don't know why. Very careless cruise passengers. Look, every plant is the same. I think it's a conspiracy. Every single one of these plants is identical. I'm not really sure why. As I said, probably a conspiracy. This is all optional, this area. But you want to kind of... Take my advice. You want to explore this game, don't you? You just want to experience it all in its glory. I'm looking for a silenced handgun, to be honest. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, you can get a silenced handgun, the most useless gun in the game, because it doesn't do anything. It's just another place to store handgun bullets. I think that's its only use. Well, there is another use, but we'll get to that eventually. Oh, we'll get to that. All right, so we're back in the main corridor. What rooms have I explored? I think I've explored all the ones I can. I haven't... I haven't no, I haven't. No. Oh, I've missed one. I'm so careless today. I don't know how I missed one. I mean, wouldn't you just want to explore this game? So I've beaten it once, but I do think that's more than anybody on this planet. I think, like, all the guides on GameFAQs, if there are any, I don't know. But if there are, I think I probably wrote them all. Okay. Oh, we have been in here. I'm getting confused. Remember those handgun ammo there, too? So you're scared right now. I'm really scared. It's all these scary lighting effects. Where am I? Alright, we're back out here. Oh, a key card lock. Oh, that's just rude. Oh, oh, oh he's very slowly getting up. <laughs> and that that's what... The whole point in this... That's what I'm going to be saying a lot in this game. He's very slowly getting up in a non-threatening... Oh! It's a zombie! What do I do? Oh, right! Run away! Because he's not stopping me. He's not in my way or anything. Okay, this is the most ambitious bit of level design they've ever done. This big room. It's the biggest room in the game. It's probably the nicest looking, too. And they blew it all in the first opening bit. Alright. 
You make a nice patting noise as you um, walk along the corridors. Oh, it's locked. Who would have thought? Alright. Where am I? Yeah, I've played this game once and I'm lost. What of it? Alright, we've been... We cannot open that door, but maybe we can open the one on the other side. That that, that guy in the navy was... Got... Where's that zombie one? He's wandering into a wall. Well done. Nice one, zombie. Nice one. These zombies are not threatening at all. Alright, um... I don't want to go that way just yet. We need to we need to give this place a proper sweep down. That's it. That this is the only thing on the ship that you can interact with. <laughs> oh. Oh, don't you just want to shoot that? No, cuz I'm not disturbing like you DDM. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure how you meant to aim. I just hold L2 and R1 and it seems to work. I'm not sure if I've broken the game. It appears to be shut on the other side. What about this door? Oh! Oh my god. Talk about being ganged up on both of them. Alright, and they've got herbs in this game as well. Not that you'll ever need to use them, because you're just going to run away from everything in this game. But you, you can at least have them and pretend to use them if you want. The door won't open. It appears to be shut on the other side. The door won't open. Well, that's great, isn't it? This was a very useful area. And some of these doors never open in the game. It just gives a false sense of size. Like in Silent Hill games, where there's just so many doors that don't open. This is it! They were trying to make the next Silent Hill! That's why it's so atmospheric and nothing can hurt you, because there's just nothing going on. Are you guys gonna get up or are you just gonna you're just gonna stay down? Alright, where do we go from here? I like the sound of the VIP room. Alright. Well don't get up, I mean, I just got in here, but don't get up. Oh you can play the piano. Can you play it? Come on, come on, Bruce! Show us your skills. You're like, uh, you're like a young Jill Valentine, aren't you? Oh. Oh, worst game ever. Can't interact with the piano. I'm looking for some hangar. Documents lay scattered on the floor. Oh, they're all going to get up. Oh, no. How threatening. Just let me read these documents. It's an emergency. Facts. You see, that's in cap from the Paris branch of this cruise ship because <laughs> bits of it are in Paris, too. Three T viruses were stolen from the Paris lab. And there's Morpheus, a good girl woman friend. I, I swear there was like handgun bullets in here, but I'm not so sure now. Excuse me. No. Oh, here we go. Green herb. How great. Alright. We've got the guest key card. That's nice. That's good. It appears to be closed. I can't open this door. Oh! A first grab of the game. Oh no! I took how much damage did I take? Oh right, absolutely none. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry zombies, but you're gonna need to put in more effort than that if you want to scare me slightly. It seems to be closed. Well yeah, I got that impression. Oh oh I'm sorry sir, but you're not allowed what are they doing? That <laughs> The twitching completely in sync. Are they going to break out on the thriller? Oh my god, on the back of the game box, alright. Oh, you see that they try to get me, but they're just too slow for my expert skills at this game. Um. Ah! Oh! Oh, this is so threatening! <laughs> Did you see those zombies? I mean, you didn't get to fight them, don't be silly. Oh, oh, I'm not doing very well. I'm talking too much. On the back of this box, there's a picture, alright. And there's two zombies. And the, Bruce is standing in the middle and they're kind of doing like a dance move on him. It, it looks so ridiculous. It's amazing. I just walked through him. I walked through that zombie. I think I've explored everywhere here. Do you think so too? I don't want to miss that silenced handgun. That, that's an important item. F for the humor thing. Alright, I'm just going to get a drink. Is our first cutscene of the game. Where we get to learn the in-depth character of Bruce. Five billion dollars. Five billion dollars. <laughs> we have until midnight tomorrow. Retrieve the virus from the movies. Why is he talking so sinisterly? That's the American government. Maybe he's just a very heavy smoker, or he, he's just he, he's just trying to sound cool. I mean I would. Wait, you see me earlier? I can't remember her name, but it's like really weird. Chinese. Do you want to know? Okay, something about these characters. They don't have a personality. Well, they do, alright. Here's their character traits. You know how in most films, 
like bad films, characters have one trait that they just carry around with them like luggage. Well, in this one, all right, she's Chinese. That's her character trait. He's American. That's his character trait. That's it. That is their only character trait. That's that's as deep as these characters get. What a great game. Oh. Oh, we What's knew that was going to What's your name, little girl? Is too much to ask for on our first day. You see what I'm talking about? It's so weird. Why do the subtitles say something different to the actual voice actors? Maybe this game was just produced on two different planets. Fong Ling? Really? Fong Ling? That's not very nice. I am at home right now, playing this game. And it's the most fun I've had in about 10 minutes. Oh, I dropped the controller. Ouch. That was his reaction to almost getting killed. Ouch. Was it the burn or was it just... I don't know. Why are those characters falling in love? Don't ask me! I'm not an expert, alright? Next time on Resident Evil Dead Aim, we're gonna keep going through the game. Look at all our ammo! This is ridiculous. We've just started the game. We haven't fired a bullet yet. Oh, we have, yeah, on that one woman person. Here's alright. We've got a first aid spray, of course. You think I wouldn't come prepared? Anyway, see you next time. Goodbye.